I got a juice, 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 juice. What's up, everybody? It's your girl C, and we're here. I still got the juice today. We have Pyrex P in the house. Thank you, thank you, welcome. Thank you for having Thank me. you for coming through, blessing us with your talents tonight. Right. Congratulations on all your success. Talk to me a little bit about your stage name, Pyrex P. My name is Pyrex P. It's short for Pyrex Porter, 48, as that's what the streets call me right now, from Harlem. Oh. You know, if you know what Pyrex is, and you know what that is, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> yeah, but, and then Porter, you know, that's just, that's just Harlem. You know, I just saying, that's just Harlem in general right there. Shout out to Harlem. Right. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the age you started to make music. You just got creatively inspired. How was that? I think I think I started making music like when I was young, young. I probably wasn't recording no tracks. I probably was like in my seventh, eighth. But I was just writing. I'm from a I'm from a block where a lot of talent come from, a lot of legendary talent come from. So it's like that's what was around at the time. Besides the negativity, you seen like I was always able to see somebody that made it out okay. at all times. Like you understand? So, and it's a very good musicians like Big L, Tamron, Max B, Herb McGruff, and the let's go on and like people that come from my neighbor bottles, like a lot of people that come from my neighborhood on my block in general, I'm able to see those and it's just it's just very inspirational. Yes, for sure. I can't forget my man Mace and Mace Dollar. All right. Shout out to Mace. That's what's up. Right. So you have a lot of inspiration around you, so you almost feel like challenged to make it. it. Some, like, Would you say? Not even challenged to make it, it's just something that's in you though, no freaky pulls. Like you just gotta understand like when you come from even the people that I named, those is real rappers, like those are spitters that ain't really no like bubblegum rappers. So when you do when you all like coming from under that, you you pushing yourself to like you pushing yourself to be next to their pen. If you get what I'm trying to say. Okay. And have you had the pleasure of like chopping it up with them? Of course. What was your experience like in any of those situations? Of I was I was raised like right across the street from Big L, like you know, we all family at Hunt 39th Street, Lemon Avenue, Danger Zone. Like we, I was, I was raised right across the street from them. So these are things that you just see these people randomly. These are regular people, like how we all sitting ahead as regular people that you see. Right. So would you say you're looking to collaborate in the future with one of them? Who would be like your big name collab, someone to collaborate with? My big name collab, you know, I'm gonna say Hope in general. <laughs> <laughs> Shout I gotta out to say Hope, Hope right? But yeah, we're gonna put that out there, matter of fact. Ain't no dreams too big, hope. Definitely. For sure. Especially if you keep blessing us with those bangers. Right. Tell me a little bit about Made Member Millionaire. How did that Made, come about? Made Member Millionaire, honestly, it came about. I needed something to come here with, you heard? And I didn't want to bring nine O's to still got the juice. I had to bless y'all with time. Okay. Right. We appreciate that. Tell me about the creative process behind that song. Um, how did that go down? My man, shout out to my man Sean Don. He pulled up on me on, on my block and all that. He played the beat in the car. And before mm -hmm. I got out, I said, yo, make sure you send me that beat right there. You are. And I know we had this booked already to come here. And I said, I'm going to take that there. And that yes. just came out like that. The rest is history. Yeah. That's what's up. We definitely ap appreciate it. You came through. You blessed us with the song. I'm loving the wordplay. Talk to me a little bit about your creative, like, pen to paper situation. Because you dope. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm like with the wordplay on there. I'm just more like a, a writer. I want to hear bars, like I want to hear, and I want to hear the truth. I want to hear you, like I want to hear what's going on around you, honestly. And I want you to just have a little jazziness to you. So I, if that's what I want to hear, that's what I'm gonna try to bring to the table, also. Yes. Well, thank you for that. I definitely felt the bars yeah. in those song and that lyrics. Uh, you said that you go, and you take the stairs. And you yeah. got stronger. Yeah, the elevator broke. I built strength when I took the stairs. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, right, <laughs> that right. you really did not fall right. up the stairs, yeah, and I can feel. Because you know we don't gotta rush the process. Sometimes you are as more as you take your time to get there. You will get there when it's supposed to be. When it's supposed to happen. For sure, definitely. Um, shout out to that. Like you really put some, like pun intended. Like you really mm -hmm. gotta catch that. Right. So I definitely appreciate that. Tell me a little bit about your style. Like when you came out. What was your idea of your style? What you what you repping? My style, you mean like what I'm repping? Well, your 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 style of rapping, your style, oh, of, style your of mannerisms. Oh, nah, yeah, oh, nah, I want balls. These gentlemen, you heard, but I like balls. I like like get dirty. Like 
like I like like kiss styles like them type of niggas. You are like kissing them. They was jazzy, but they wasn't also like too pretty. Like you get what I'm trying to say? Right. They, they got dirty. So that's what. Dope. That's dope. what I like. So who's your main support system at the moment? You would mm-hmm. say mm-hmm. in your in your area, in your family, and my, friends. And myself. My main support system is me, my dogs in general. You know, my kids, like things like that. My family, like the regular. Okay. Regular everybody that's pushing me to be, be who I need to be. Okay. So would you say what would you say are some of the challenges coming up that you face? There ain't a lot about it. It's mm-hmm. crazy out there in the streets, especially like coming up in New York City right now. You got the Lord drill you got the little drill culture going on right now. Mm-hmm. So it's more so like it's just just being outside, you understand? You growing up in these areas where it's just rough in these neighborhoods that you come from. So that's the, the most challenging part, staying alive, staying free. I hear that for sure, especially nowadays, you know, you really just don't know what's coming to you. Tell me a little bit about like any any successful stories that, you know, that you you were caught by surprise with that, that has came up about. A lot, like maybe probably when I pulled up on Meek and, you know, me and Meek Mill had like, a, I don't want to say a battle, but we went, we went round for round with like a couple of bars and all that. Like it was a lot of people there. It was a, wow. it was a big day in Harlem. Like Ross, dope. Diddy, a lot of people was there. Me and Meek went back and forth. Man. That's dope. Things like that. That was one of that's a, like a big highlight for me. I, I I respect that. I respect Sun Pen too. Yes, that's what's up. That's a great milestone. So how do you celebrate those milestones and those achievements? Keep working. Yep. That's how you do that. You keep working. So what's the message you give young, inspiring artists like yourself, you know, when they want to come up? I think just to keep grinding, stay true to yourself. If you love what you do, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to love you. If, if that makes sense to y'all, like, you just got to just stay stay down. It might not it might not pop right when you want it to, but when it's, when it's supposed to happen for you, it will. So if you stay, stay consistent, down. right? Right, yeah. That's just a powerful message. We we look we look forward to seeing a lot more from you, Thank your you. team, um, your creative style. What does still got the juice mean to you? Still got the juice mean you ain't never lost the sauce. You still that boy, right? <laughs> oh, love it. You know what I mean, that's really what it is. Yes. Well, we look forward to seeing more of you. Thank you. Congratulations on your success. Thank you. There you have it. We're Thank having a lot of fun me. here. I right. still got the juice right. with. Right. Thank you for having me. 48 is here. You are. You gotta look out for that main member millionaires. I also got a um, tape coming out real, real soon. The book of Yay. And follow my Instagram, PyrexP. And we in it. Yo.